Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. We've got a great cultivar highlight for you today. Hey guys, I'm Tim. That's my brother, Matt. We're Mr. Maple. Check us out. We do crazy, wicked, awesome plants. We like them. We know you'll like them too. So check us out on MrMaple.com. Guys, today we're going to be talking about Acer Palmatum Dissectum Baldsmith. Now, this is a particularly beautiful lace leaf Japanese maple that is noted for having some of the best pink colors in all of Acer's. It has that pink red new growth that just keeps coming across it constantly, maturing to green down below with that pink red all across the top. I mean, there's not a lace leaf I can think of that gets so pink purple red. Mm -hmm. That's just, it's just an outrageous color to have in the landscaping garden. Now, Baldsmith Bay we may be one of the most intense pink colors there are. This tree typically is more of five feet tall by about five and a half to six feet wide in a 10 year span, making it a low cascading umbrella something more of a small dome shape. It is an excellent tree for the landscape. Now you wanna give this one some early morning sun at least to pick up those colors. That early morning sun is gonna brighten that intense spring pink. Now this tree does fade to more of a light green midsummer, and then fall colors can range from oranges to yellows. So we fell in love with this plant because of our good friend Richard Bomar. Shout out to Richard if you're watching. Richard loved Baldsmith. He had a huge specimen at his house and he's like, guys y'all have got to be doing more and more baldsmith and as soon as we got the plant from and started producing it man i realized why richard loved it so much there's nothing that provides this an amazing color as outstanding as baldsmith does now a lot of people don't know this but the cultivar baldsmith actually gets its name from a blacksmith whose name was bartholomew smith and he was bald baldsmith is an excellent tree to use out in the landscape and garden it contrasts so well against your yellows your greens anything you put it out there it's gonna stand out. The th reason I love it is because it's not your typical red lace leaf. And people would argue, bear trees may argue this is a green lace leaf. Someone else may argue it's a red because it has color. But what it does do is it contrasts against mostly all the other trees you put out beside of it. Yeah, it's a fun tree to add to a collection that already has something like a crimson queen and a waterfall. Uh, Baldsmith pairs so nicely with greens and reds, and it makes a third accompaniment to any of those trees and a new color to have there in the landscape. I'm a huge fan of this one in a big decorative pot. Uh, a gorgeous accompaniment to this is a blue container, so you can get that incredible color over top of that blue, and it really brings out some of the interesting colors. So think about this one not only as pairing with other plants, but also your deck pot, uh, some yellow sedum, a blue pot. You've got so much color going on. Now, if you do grow this in a container, make sure you've got good drainage that's paramount. Baldsmith is just gonna be a rock star, whether it's in the garden or in a container for sure. And the thing I just love about this plant is the outrageous color. That outrageous color is something that you're gonna enjoy in the garden because it's gonna give you good color contrast and really make a statement. Yeah, we're gonna be having these in different sizes. We do have some big 10 gallons out here today. So you can sign up to get notified when we have these in one gallons, but be checking our upcoming tenant tens. Take care. God bless. And have an awesome day.